Hello everyone, welcome to a new update video. It's been quite a long time since I've made one of these, but I've just been so overwhelmed with uh, all the new things to do uh, and play and all of that jazz. So uh, I wanted to make one now because um, I haven't made one in forever and there's a lot of things to announce. So first things first, the day this video goes up, um, I have watched the Nintendo Direct, so Basically, most of the things you saw in the Nintendo Direct are on my radar, but this video is only going to have like June and July games. But um, Super Mario um, RPG got a remake announced. Um, Pikmin 1 and 2 was on there. There's a new Mario game where Mario like does psychedelics, which is it sounds cool. There, there's quite a few things on there that, uh, that looked really, really neat. So uh, a lot of those things will be considered for future LPs, but I'll get to those when I get to those, uh, when they actually release and all that. But the archive of me uh, streaming the Direct is on the Archive channel, and I've also been playing a bunch of Steam Next Fest demos that are going up over there too. Um, one of them being Born of Bread, the cool uh, Paper Mario kind of game. Um, the developer actually gave me, uh, the game, uh, for free and gave me the demo early, so, uh, I played that, which was cool, so. Now that all that introductory stuff is out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get into what I'm going to be playing here. So, the first thing that's coming out the soonest is, uh, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. This was on the, the DS? I... I don't remember exactly, DS or what, but, uh, basically it's a, it's a little puzzle game that uh, seems pretty cool and I've always heard good things about. Um, so I'm kind of interested in playing it now that it's being re-released on like uh, PC and stuff. Uh, I'm not totally sure what I'm getting into with it, but I've always heard good things about it, so I want to try it. I know you can like, I think you can like possess objects or something like that, but let's read the little thing. Classic puzzle solving adventure directed by Ace Attorney creator Shu Takumi is back. The long awaited HD remaster features upgraded visuals and sound and new gallery content. So, ah, it's made by uh, the creator of Ace Attorney. That makes sense. So, there we go. That's the first thing. That comes out June 30th. Uh, once again, as always, these things are not confirmed that they're going to be happening, but, um, yeah, this is kind of what I'm thinking of. Uh, also, we skipped over it, but I guess I should look at these other games first, which are actually in my browser, so give me one second. So, next up, I'm, I'm sure nobody expected it, but uh, I am considering playing Final Fantasy XVI. Um, I'm obviously a very, very big fan of Final Fantasy, and RPGs seem to do very, very well on this channel. I'm a little bit intimidated playing Tears of the Kingdom and a gargantuan game like Final Fantasy XVI at the same time. But I do have a PS5, so I can play it. I did not play the demo, specifically because I was considering playing the game um, on the channel, so... This does come out tomorrow, <laughs> so... If you're interested in seeing Final Fantasy 16, definitely, definitely let me know, because I'm on the fence on whether I should play it or not, because it will be a big ask doing two giant RPGs at the same time. But if people are actually interested in it and want it, then I'm totally cool with doing it. Um, so that's another thing that I'm thinking about. I feel like people know what they're getting into with the new Final Fantasy game. It has totally different combat. I believe the combat is designed by the combat designer for Devil May Cry. Um, and it also has the, like, lead person working on Final Fantasy XIV behind the story. Um, so that's cool. It's supposed to be, like, a darker turn for the Final Fantasy series and all these things. Totally different combat and all that, so it seems pretty cool. I'm quite interested in it. Um, but we'll see if people want it or not. So that's that's one of the things I was looking at. Um, the other thing is Pikmin 4. So Pikmin 4 comes out on the 21st of July. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and look at these really quickly to kind of, uh, to kind of uh, show these off since they're in the browser and not on Steam. Most of the things I'm looking at are on Steam. So they showed a little bit more of Pikmin 4 off in the Direct today and it looked quite cool. They also announced that Pikmin 1 and 2 were releasing today on the Switch. Uh, some like remastered versions. So once again, if people want to see Pikmin 1 or 2, let me know and I can try to squeeze those in. Um, I haven't played Pikmin 1 or 2 in a very long time and I don't think I've ever beaten either of the games on my own. I played a ton of Pikmin 2 and I played a lot of Pikmin 1, but I, I do not know those games. I've seen LPs, but I do not know those games. So it would be like a pseudo 
first time playthrough, basically, if I played Pikmin 1 and 2. They're also fairly short games, so I would be able to get through them pretty quickly, I think. So I'm definitely playing Pikmin 4, though, um, and it could be good to have a refresher on Pikmin 1 and 2. So once again, let me know if you want to see Pikmin 1 or 2. I am stricken with indecision because there's a lot of things coming out, and Nintendo just loves dropping remasters on me. They did the same thing with Metroid Prime. They were like, oh yeah, by the way, Metroid Prime. And I'm like, oh, my schedule, what, what are you doing? So, all right, let's go ahead and hop over to Steam again. So, uh, we looked at Ghost Trick. So next, this, the, it was supposed to be coming out soon. I played the demo for this on the channel a bit ago, but now it just ominously says QT, or Q2. Um, this is Flowstone Saga, the, the Tetris JRPG that I really, really liked. Um, I would like to play this when it comes out. It was quite fun when I uh, when I gave it a shot, so we'll probably be doing that. Um, but I don't know when it comes out. This is the only one I threw in that wasn't coming out in like June or July, so. Uh, Viewfinder. So this is a frankly amazing game that I played the demo for yesterday on stream, actually. This game is Awesome. So, challenge perception, redefine reality, and reshape the world around you with an instant camera. Viewfinder is a new single-player game offering gamers hours of interesting and fun experiences while uncovering the mysteries left behind. So basically, you explore this world. Um, that was, as far as I could tell from the little bit of the demo that I played, like, they, the, these people created the world, basically. They, they programmed the world. And there's all kinds of references in here, like Tetris and... There was one level that I was freaking out when I played the demo. I'm like, is that that level? I was like, this kind of looks like Metroid <laughs> a little bit. It, it reminded me of Metroid. So, um, yeah, there's there's just things like that in it. And basically what you do is you take pictures and you can put those pictures down and then walk into the scene. So this is an amazing puzzle game that will definitely, definitely be getting played. And if you're interested in the demo, it is on the archive channel from where I played it. So... Uh, yeah, that is that, or it will be up soon. That comes out July 18th, so that is a hard yes for me, because that was very fun. Uh, this I actually just stumbled across. Full Void is a 2D cinematic puzzle platformer set in a dystopian future. Young teenagers scared and alone must use all their skills to defeat a rogue AI that keeps mankind oppressed. This kind of reminds me of Another World. Um, I just found this one, so I just kind of threw it on here. It comes out July 18th. I would be interested in it. I like these sort of cinematic puzzle platformers like this. Kind of like Planet of Lana and, you know, like a Another World. This one's clearly more based off of Another World, so... Uh, quite interested in that one. Uh, next we have Crime O'Clock, another game I played the demo for, um, on the stream. So this is basically like, uh, ooh, that is really small. Um, this is basically, I don't know why those pictures aren't r loading correctly. It's like hidden folks or, uh, hidden through time, except you're solving murders and you can specifically move through different periods of time to try and solve the murder. So it's, it's pretty cool. I played it. Uh, the demo was a little, little handholdy, but I could see it getting very, very interesting, uh, the further it went on. So Crime O'Clock looks neat. That comes out July 21st, just like it did. A detective game, you find like the murder weapon and you connect people to different things and all of that. It, it's, it seems pretty cool. It seems pretty cool. Uh, July 27th is Double Dragon Gaiden Rise of the Dragons. So I played um, River City Girls. And when I played River City Girls, I knew nothing about Double Dragon. <laughs> Um, I have played a few of them, but I knew nothing about Double Dragon. I have since watched an exhaustive retrospective on the entire Double Dragon series by one Matt McMuscles. So, I know a little bit more about Double Dragon now. I know these characters, I know Marion, I know what all they're usually supposed to do and stuff, and... Yeah, so... I think it would be cool to play the new Double Dragon game. Also, I just want to support a new Double Dragon game, because Double Dragon games are fun. So this could be one that would be uh, interesting to play. Obviously, it's a beat em up, so it would be quite quite quick to get through, much like the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles beat em up I played was. Not the greatest at beat em ups, but I us do usually have a fun time with them. Apparently, Marion uses guns in this one. I wish it was the River City Girls Marion who was just super buff and awesome and punched people and did all kinds of wrestling moves, but Marion with a bazooka is fine too, I guess. So. There is that. That's July 27th. July is a lot more packed than June was. 
Um, July 27th, Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara. So, a handful of people have watched me play Summer in Mara, which is like the life sim game. And uh, Chibig, uh, I believe, is the developer that mostly makes the Koa games. They basically have a Koa extended universe, I guess, because there's a life sim game, there's this, there's another game that takes place in that world. This one's a platformer, the previous game was a life sim, and I, I really liked it, I had a fun time with it. And I do love me some 3D platformers, so this looks like it could be a fun time, and uh, we might play it, you know. I do love Koa, Koa is adorable, so. All right, that's that. And the final game that I was looking at, um, I haven't played the demo for this on stream yet, but I plan to soon, probably tonight. Um, this is Venba. It's a short narrative cooking game where you play as an Indian mom who immigrates to Canada with her family in the 80s. Players will cook various dishes and restore lost recipes, hold branching conversations, and explore in this story about family, love, loss, and more. So it seems like a really fun time. Just a cooking game with a little bit of narrative on there too, uh, from a culture that I don't have a ton of experience with, so... And the art is really, really cool. So we're definitely uh, thinking about that one, especially since it's short. It would be a pretty easy one to get through. So yeah, that's basically everything that I wanted to go over. Um, I can go over really quickly what I've been streaming recently. Um, obviously, the, the me streaming the Direct is going up. Um, I've been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon in preparation for the next game of that coming out. I say all of these things in YouTube posts, but I don't know how many people really see those, so I thought I would include it in an update video as well. Uh, so I've been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, we finished up Darkest Dungeon 2. We finished up a bunch of life sims. Uh, the 27th, actually, I'm going to be playing the new Story of Seasons games. Uh, or not, it's not new, but it's a remake of Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. It's called Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. And it's basically the exact same game, but I, it's probably the Harvest Moon game that I played the most of, except for maybe Mar Magical Melody. So I'm very, very excited for that, and we're going to be streaming that when it comes out on the 27th, so we'll be alternating between that and uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, the next few days, of course, I'm going to be playing a bunch of Steam Fe uh, Next Fest games, because there's still a bunch of demos that I want to try out and everything, so we'll be doing... More of that, if you're interested, and all of those are going up on the Archive channel. Everything I stream goes up on the Archive channel. Um, so, yeah. Quite a lot of stuff being done right now. With adding streaming on top of it and everything, I'm able to get through a lot of games that, like, don't feel like they're really suited for an LP, like Life Sims. Like, Life Sims always felt weird for an LP, like when I did Summer and Mara, because I love Life Sims and I wanted to do it, but you have to cut so much out to, like, make it work. So it's nice that I have a medium that I can uh, upload Life Sims and stuff for, and, like, roguelikes and stuff like that, because they're kind of LP poison as well. But yeah, um, let me know what you think about uh, the games I'm looking at, if I missed any. Let me know, because uh, I may not have seen them. I have not seen everything. I have not been as vigilant as I have been recently about checking out just about everything that's releasing. But those are the things that are in my head right now, so let me know what you think. Let me know what ones you would be most interested in watching. Like I said, there's going to be a little bit of a timer on confirming the Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. Um, because it comes out tomorrow, but I'll see the reaction to this video and see what people think. So, yeah, uh, enough of me talking. I guess I'll go ahead and end this video off here, and I'll see you tomorrow with something. I guess if I don't play Final Fantasy 16, I'll probably play Pikmin, or maybe I'll play both of them. I, I don't know. Just let me know, because my brain is all over the place, and I need help. So, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.